of technical analysis, there are so many different techniques, it can be overwhelming at first. Where do you start? Which tools do you need to use? As we consider earlier in the section entitled, The Key to Trading Education, it was suggested that we consult with other traders with experience. Experienced traders will tell you that the following tools are the two best geometric trading tools available. In this section, we will look at where they came from and how to use them. The only two tools you will ever need are price retracements and price extensions. Notice that these are price techniques and not time techniques. We'll only be using horizontal lines or lines that intersect with the price axis in this level, the neophyte level, and also the one that follows it, the initiate levels of the geometric trading course. The first technique that we'll consider, and the easiest one to use, is the price retracement routine. The price retracement concept appears extensively in the book written by H.M. Gartley entitled Profits in the Stock Market. It appears that Gartley completed most of the early work on retracements by 1935. Shortly thereafter, in 1938, R.N. Elliott wrote The Wave Principle, and he discussed the subject further. Thereafter, in 1942, W.D. Gann wrote the book How to Make Profits Trading in Commodities, and he discussed the importance of the 50% retracement. The 50% retracement is a popular retracement level down to this day. So how do we apply a price retracement level to a price chart? Let's look at this example of a 50% retracement. It appears that the trend is up. So then let's imagine that we're looking for buying opportunities as we don't want to fight the trend. The market has now rallied to $15 right here. We could buy now. However, we run the risk of that horrible mistake of buying at the highest price. Remember, we're trying to buy low and sell high. If we buy right now, we might be buying the high and later selling a low. To avoid this problem, we use the price retracement technique. Notice that the most recent rally was from $5 to $15. The price range of that rally is $10. If we were to use a 50% retracement rule, we would wait for a 50% correction against the most recent trend move. In other words, we would wait for a decline of $5 before we would buy. This technique forces us to not buy the high, but to wait for a 50% retracement first. The 50% retracement is a very popular level that traders expect to find support or resistance, but there are many other levels that traders use, and it really depends on which financial products that you're interested in trading that determines which levels should be used. I discuss this concept in more detail in the initiate level of this course. So now let's move on and have a look at a real chart to see how we would use the price retracement tool. This is an example of how to apply a price retracement, in this case to McCormick and Company. This is a daily chart. And to apply a price retracement, first of all, we'll select the tool from the levels menu. We go over here to price retracements. Now we select this low, and then we go up to this high. There's only two point data points required to apply the price retracement. So from the low to the high, we click the second click, and now you can drag these lines across the screen here. So the third click drops them, and now I have these two levels. Here's the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, and here is the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement. As we can see, there was support at the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement, 
And in this example, I will delete this 61.8% retracement. And to do that, I simply select that level. I right click it and go to the garbage can and say remove selected level. And so that level's gone now. So there we have our 78.6% Fibonacci retracement, price retracement. Now that we've covered off how to use the price retracement tool, let's learn about the second most important geometric tool, the price extension tool. Once again, it appears that this technique was originally developed by H.M. Gartley in Profits in the Stock Market. When you hear people refer to the AB equals CD, this technique is what they are referring to. If you understand the principles of Elliott Wave Theory, this is the same as saying that wave A is equal to wave C. The projections of the flag formation found in the technical analysis classic Technical Analysis of Stock Market Trends by Edwards and McGee also highlight this important concept. So let's have a closer look at the price extension routine. The price extension routine helps to identify support and resistance levels. In this example, we're going to identify a 100% extension. In this example, the trend appears to be down with a little bit of a rally and we're looking for selling opportunities. We're wondering if $20 would be an appropriate level to sell at. To help identify if $20 is a potential resistance level and a good place to put our sell order, we can use the price extension technique. Notice that the first rally against the downtrend was from $5 to $15. The price range of that rally is $10. If we were to use a 100% extension, we would wait for a 100% extension of this initial rally. So we would measure, remember geometry is measuring, we would measure the length of the first rally against the trend, which is here. So we'd measure that initial rally and we notice that the range from $5 to $15 is a $10 range. And then we would project that range from the low made here at $10. If we add the range of $10 to the low here at $10, that means that we can expect resistance at $20. And that is where our 100% extension target is located. Can you see the symmetry between the first rally and the second rally against the trend? The 100% price extension is a popular level that traders expect to find support and resistance. There are many other levels that traders use. However, the 100% extension or the AB equals CD seems to have the best results of all the different levels available. Now let's see how to use the price extension routine on a real chart. In this example, we're going to look at applying a price extension to McCormick and Company on this daily chart here. It would appear that we have a, a downward move, this leg down, and a bit of a rally. And I'll show you how to make apply the price projection to these three data points from this high to this low and projecting that range from here. To do that, to apply the price extension tool, we go to tools, we go to levels, and select price extension. Now we go to this high we click that once. Our second data point is this low here, so we're measuring this range. We click a second time there, and now we're going to project the range that we just measured from this high right over here. So that's my third click, and after my third click, I can once again drag this line across the screen here any way I want and I can drop it by doing my fourth click. 
So now we have a very clear price uh, extension target. So from this high to this low, we've measured this, this range and we've projected it from this high here and we can see the market comes down and touches this level before it reverses. So this is a very common uh, tool that we use a lot in the geometric trading course. So in summary, the price retracement and price extension tools are powerful in their own right. However, they are best used together. In the next section of the geometric trading course, we'll put these two tools together to find the ultimate trading pattern.